Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is day 146 of Dave's Daily D. Dave's Daily Discussions. You know me. I'm Dave. It's Monday. TGIM. Thank God it is Monday. And you know, I wanted to bring this video here today to kind of go over what I what I did, what I started. Um, I need back surgery. Um, uh, it's something that I've been trying to avoid since 2013 in that realm. Um, it is my L5-S1 disc, the lowest one. My L4 is damaged, but I'm not going to mess with that one right now. But anyway, so I had an injury back in late July, early August, and I've been suffering ever since. I have trouble getting dressed. I have trouble going to the bathroom, sitting, standing, laying down. Like I can't function throughout my daily life just normal. They have me on different medications to try and manage throughout the day try and manage throughout the evenings and they have me on medications to help me try to sleep um, even the medications aren't truly doing a whole lot for me I can't remember the last time I've actually had a, a full night of sleep because I wake up in the middle of the night in pain so it's I, I don't like taking medication especially when it comes to stronger medications for pain management I don't like it I'm very pain tolerant so for me to need any type of help with pain to get through the day to do my daily um, what I have to do is just it's something that I don't want to be doing um, quality of life wise I don't really do a whole lot so that's why I'm like you know I might as well try to get the surgery done because I don't I'm not able to kind of function how I normally function I like to be out and about I like to go out and do things and Honestly, if it's not going to work or going to the grocery store or helping somebody who actually needs help, I don't leave the house and I don't like that. But I don't want to leave the house because I'm miserable and I don't want to medicate so that I could go be out and about. So it's just it's a double-edged sword. So what I've got going on is I'm still waiting for approval. I already called and looked into kind of what's going on because I had a letter they gave me when they told me that they were going to start the approval process with insurance <clears throat> and it basically said whatever your deductible is or out-of-pocket expenses for your medical insurance that has to be met and they will tell you at the time of approval before you can schedule they will tell you what that number is before you can even schedule the procedure now my insurance just renewed on October 1st. My deductible was $3,000. It is now $5,000. When I log into my insurance um, with my therapy and all the medical stuff I've done besides the MRI and the x-ray, um, my deductible thus far had paid, I think it was $1,200 or $1,600. So pretty far away still from the 3000 extremely far away from the 5000 so my deductible is now 5000 so I have to have paid in 5000 or I have to pay whatever it is to reach that 5000 so the MRI the actual cost of it at Firelands in Sandusky, Ohio is uh, it's like I think 2600 that total number is obviously not going to go towards that deductible. That's not what I'm paying. I pay a portion of that. The insurance pays the other portion. So they basically told me the estimate right now, which isn't true, the estimate they're looking at right now is around 3000 at least that I'm going to have to pay, if not more, before I can schedule my procedure. So after that explanation there, the reason I'm doing a GoFundMe is I've worked hard the past, especially the past two years uh, with the company that I work with now. I love what I do. It's a family-oriented environment, and you know, I feel cared about and I feel valued. And I've worked really hard to build and grow from the bottom, from entry-level 
pay because I'd never been an insurance before to get to a point to where I can kind of live. Like I had to do a rewrite on my car loan and do different on that so I could keep my car. I mean, after I left Whirlpool and after things went south with my ex, my financials got really messed up. I won't get into major detail, but anyway, I've worked really hard. Um, so that I can try to buy a house because it's impossible for me to rent with two dogs. So I'm working on buying a house. I finally have gotten approval. So normally if I already had a house, I would just say, screw it. I'll just go try to see if I can open up a line of credit or go take a loan out or a home equity, whatever the case is, to come up with the money to do my procedure. I wouldn't be asking for help, but I've been working really hard to get out on my own and out of my current living situation that does not give me much space and it does not give my dogs much space. That if I try to take a line of credit or a loan out right now, that will set me back and ruin my chances of buying a home, I don't know, at least for another year or two, and I don't want to do that. So I made a GoFundMe because I am one of two agents in my office who sell. We have a number that we try to hit every month and that other agent has twins on the way and he is going to be gone for the rest of the year out of the office uh, here soon. So I kind of shoulder the office, not totally, but you know, for a good portion of the rest of the year while he's doing his thing, uh, I've got to kind of step up. So. I have a, a window of time to do the surgery, one for that fact, but also for the fact of if I don't get the surgery done before January 1st, my paid in towards my deductible resets to zero, which means that I owe a total of 5,000, which means I need more. So I, I'm trying to get this done as quickly as possible, obviously also for the fact of just so I can be normal again, so I can get dressed and not be in extreme pain so I can actually sit on the toilet and go to the bathroom and not be in extreme pain to where I can sit or stand and, and get comfortable and not just be miserable a majority of the time. I mean, that's that's where I'm at. So, long-winded kind of thing. I wanted to kind of give you guys an idea of what's going on here. Um, you know, it's humbling. I, I don't, I never would want to do it and I know if, uh, there's a couple of people that told me that I should do the GoFundMe to swallow my pride and do it, that there's people out there that care that will help, and you know, even if it's just to read my story or read what's going on or watch this video, um, and just your kind words, awesome. Any help is obviously appreciated. I started and put it up last night, and uh, you know, it's, it's almost put me into tears now just to, to talk about it and think about the people who care. Uh, my buddy Corey, my buddy Ricky, and my buddy Wesley, they have all um, shown their love and their care, and they have they have donated, trying to keep together here. I mean, it, it's not like I'm dying. It's not it's not life threatening. It's not that serious, but it's just daily quality of life. Like even right now, sitting in a car, I've got a pillow behind my back, a pillow behind my back to drive and I have to constantly kind of like readjust my back because I, I'm just in pain and uh, that's where I'm at I just wanted to kind of put a video together here just to put it out just so that there's for anybody who maybe can't read it or doesn't have the time to read it um, whatever the case is or if there's any questions hopefully this will answer a majority of it in regards to why I did a GoFundMe to try to get this procedure scheduled once I'm approved. I don't know the true number of what I need yet. I just did 4,000 just on sheer hope that that's what's gonna do it, whether it's the whole 4,000 goes to scheduling the procedure or if that 4,000 is 3,000 of it's scheduling the procedure and 1,000 of it's recovery, whatever it is. Um, what I do know is that every any bit that I get is going to be very appreciated. Um, I'll be very thankful for it. I already am thankful for it. And you know, I'm glad that there's people that care 
and that have thought of me enough to help out and reach out and talk to me and, and tell me, hey, you can do this. And uh, I'm just looking to hopefully get back to a sense of normal in my own life physically again. So I appreciate anybody who watches, anybody who has questions or anything, you're always more than welcome to, to message me. And going forward with how this works, and obviously uh, I've already had some help here. Um, I'll be looking to, you know, help the next person pay it forward, whether it's a GoFundMe or somebody who's in need. Um, that's just who I am. I, I don't want to do this GoFundMe, but I'm in a position where I kind of I, I need to get this surgery done. So, guys, I appreciate you guys watching. This one was more about me. But if you want to make it into a daily discussion at any point, um, sometimes in life we have to ask for help. Sometimes in life we have to be humbled. Life puts us in positions to where we have to choose things. And there's, there's a lot of options. We just have to survey them and figure out what the best option is. So uh, right now I believe this is my best option. And hopefully many of you guys out there are doing well. And you can take something from my video, hope, or whatever it is that you see from this that I'm doing, that I'm I'm constantly trying to put these videos out to make a difference to you guys, make a difference in my life, and it's a platform that I hope to continue making a difference and an impact, and I hope that I can continue making a positive difference in people's lives. Um, one video at a time, but this one, this video was truly just to kind of shed some light on what I got going on and uh, why I'm doing a GoFundMe. So, guys, thank you, as always, for tuning in. This is day 146 of Dave's Daily D, Dave's Daily Discussions, and hopefully everybody has a good rest of their Monday. Thank you guys so much.